Okay, now let's explain what each of the inputs that you need to be concerned about, what they do. Now this is the pip value here. The pip value is how much each one pip price move is worth for every 100,000 units of currency. And it's different for every pair and this actually fluctuates. You can go to, uh, you can click on this link here, Forex Razor or Go Forex to get the pip value. The current pip value, I went ahead and brought this up. So you can actually see for each of the pairs and as you can see for the US dollar pair it's 10. For JPY, it's actually 13.05. The Swiss uh, is 11 and 901, etc., etc. So that's where I'm getting those numbers from. That's where I'm getting those numbers from um, here. And I went ahead and just put it here so that I could just copy it and paste the value or just type in the value here. So for this example, let's just say we're dealing with uh, Euro US dollar. The spread here. Now you're going to type in the average spread that your broker would use. In this case, let's just use a, an example, 1.5 pips. Uh, we'll go ahead and type in 1.5 pips. Uh, don't worry about uh, what I did over here. We'll type in 1.5 pips for the average spread. Some of your trades will have more, more of a spread. Some of your trades will have less, but on average, that's what your broker would use. Okay. Now the leverage is the maximum amount of leverage that you want to use in your account. Um, IBFX Australia offers up to 400 to 1 leverage. I know Gold Markets and Vantage FX, they offer 500 to 1 leverage. Uh, FX Open offers 500 to 1 leverage. Leverage just gives you more buying power. Um, and that maybe is uh, for another video. But you would type in the leverage that you use. And this will come into play here when we talk about in this row 17. For the required leverage so that tells you for each position that you put on how much capital in leverage that you have to put up for that position the exchange rate is important to show and for the euro us dollar it's actually right now about 1.4 and what i did is i went ahead and typed it in here so that i could just have a quick reference this also fluctuates and this is this information is also available on forex razor you can see the exchange rate is calculated in the margin. It's actually 1.36. You can see where the margin requirement is 1.36. What this does is this actually will tell the spreadsheet to make sure that you take out the right amount of margin for a full size contract. And the reason why you want to uh, make this correct is so that uh, the goal of the spreadsheet is to simulate what you would actually do when you're placing trades manually every so many pips it keeps track of the amount of margin that you would actually have to use in order to take on that position so each each position you open it takes up a certain amount of margin if you notice when you calculate the exchange rate it automatically changed the margin to the amount reflecting the correct exchange rate now the cells again that you have to worry about is f2 f3 E5, F5, G5. The cells that you have to worry about for each scenario, there's four scenarios, but right now we're just focused on scenario one. Scenarios two, three, and four are just a copy of scenario one so that you can test out different strategies. So the only two rows that we really have to worry about is row 21, which is the next lot size. This is the initial lot size that you place, right? And then each one after that will be dependent on the grid here, which we'll go into in a second. But this is each trade that you would manually place every so many pips away from the initial uh, lot or the initial trade that you place. And uh, the only other row that you have to worry about is row 24. Okay. And that's dealing with the grid. So your initial lot is at the initial starting point. Then you have to deal with every so many pips from their initial trade placement you want to know how many pips distance before the next trade and you can customize this and I'll go into that in a second you can space out your grid as much as you want or as little as you want but for the purposes of this particular video we just went ahead and kept the grid at two so every two pips we're gonna open up a new trade 